Hi everyone, hope you're doing well and today we're going to talk about Disney stock which had a fantastic day yesterday, the stock was up absolutely huge and there was some really big positive news that came out of Disney after its investor day and we're going to be going through all the juicy stuff that came out with the investor day news. Some phenomenal news there, it was kind of a big home run for the stock, it was kind of one of those days where they were kind of releasing some great news and then after they released some great news it was another one and another one and because of that I think the stock as investors kind of processed it, they kind of thought about one thing and then they moved on to the next thing and like that's even better now for Disney so there's just jam packed full of great news for Disney um, so we'll be covering everything that happened with Disney over the last uh, day really. So I've had some big gains because of the Disney jump today and if you want to know when I do buy, sell, buy and sell stocks make sure you join my patrons group, link is in the description, I always post what I'm buying and what I'm selling and also if you do want to start buying Disney shares I've got a link to an eToro account where you can buy it on there, a link to a Trading212 account which you can set up and buy it on there you also get a free share, a link for a DeGiro account and also another free trade account which once again you can get a free share on that one. And for you guys that don't know, I actually started buying um, Disney in 2019 and this was due to the whole Disney Plus launch and I at the time thought Disney Plus could be massive, obviously the pandemic's helped it a little bit but I thought Disney Plus, exclusive Star Wars content, I with all the characters you think they have for Disney Plus, I think that Disney Plus will give Netflix a run for the money and that's exactly what's going on right now. So I've actually been buying this company since 2019 uh, and that was kind of pre-pandemic as well. Uh, just on a side note, I do think that one thing you've got to be, uh, I think is going, because Disney Plus is taking so much attention now, don't forget about the parks. Obviously it's killing the business now, but I think when travel kind of resumes to normal, which in my opinion will be in the next six months, a lot of people will be desperate to go on holiday and these parks are going to be filled to capacity as well and I think people aren't taking that into consideration how desperate people will be to go on holiday and get back to Disneyland so I think there'll be some really good numbers coming out of the Disneyland parks within the next six months so that's something that I think is being overlooked now whereas Disney Plus was pretty much being overlooked in 2019. And like I say, I was buying in 2019, it was one of the companies that I was a bit nervous buying because I wanted to get involved with the Disney Plus but I was like buying at 52 week highs and this is what I don't like doing with 52 week highs is buying in there and there we go that's why I don't like doing it we have corona five months after I start buying a Disney Plus position and I've pretty much been down on that position for six months since buying there I'm now up 20% so it is fully recovered from that position and that kind of just shows you, you know with a lot of these stocks if you go down in the short term don't worry about it great companies will come back on the share price and that's what happened with my Disney Plus uh, my Disney shares. Now I did, when I took the opportunity in COVID to buy even more Disney shares, I did take that opportunity. And now I'm 72% up on my COVID shares. So the shares that I had pre-COVID up 20% and my COVID shares are up 72%, which I'm really happy to buy more of, getting this company at great prices. And I've not talked about this company for a, pretty much a whole year. Um, and when I last talked about this, I actually made a video saying why Disney will go, or the Disney stock, will go to $200 within the next two years. So we're about one uh, one year off where um, I said it was gonna go to $200. And that means it just has to go up about 50, 15%, I think, from here, which isn't too bad. So um, we're nearly there. I know a few, a few of you guys want me to do more of these price predictions. Uh, it's something I would like to do as well. And I would say on a side note that after this, what news came out with Disney, I would actually say that my price target is more towards $250 now. So I would raise that price target if I was an analyst, for example, but hey, I'm not, <laughs> right? So first of all, the big news that came out, and this was the first little pump on the stock price after hours, was that Disney Plus actually got to 90 million subscribers. Now, just to put that into perspective, this was the forecast that Disney would get, or Disney Plus would get to in 2024. So yeah, we, we have smashed that target completely out of the park. Obviously COVID has helped, but hey, um, obviously I think it, it would have done well anyway, but yeah, 90 million subs that were predicted to get that in 2024. So yeah, I mean, we're currently four years ahead of schedule, which is absolutely brilliant. So then what Disney did is they actually upped their forecast. So they're actually gonna now say that um, their forecast for 2024 is 260 million subscribers. And that is triple to where it is right now. So that's another great thing. The forecast was brilliant, a massive increase in the forecast. And the next bit of news that came out was that they have managed to sign the Kardashians on a exclusive content for a multi-year plan, which I'm not 100% sure on because I've never watched the shows, 
but I hear they are quite good for the people that do watch them, and I hear quite a few people do watch them, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying that I watch them, but I know they're very popular, I hear people talk about them, um, I'm not going to try be a little bit sexist, but yeah, most of the, the women that I at work talk about this program when it used to be on. Uh, so yeah, I'm sure that will pull in a new people, a few new people, just like how um, you know Star Wars uh, bring um, I would say mostly a male audience in when uh, obviously they bought um, the contract off George Lucas. Obviously, it's bringing different audiences in, and I think the Kardashians as well will be um, a great signing because I know they do have a very good following for that TV show. Uh, and also there was another announcement of 10 spin-off um, series for Star Wars, which when you look at the success of Mandalorian on, on the show, um, I think that's done very well. Obviously, whenever the new series of Mandalorian comes out, um, you see a bit of a jump in uh, subscribers. And uh, personally, I do watch that one. That's one I do watch. Um, and I, I think Mandalorian is fantastic. I would go as far as saying it's better than the uh, new films that came out. So, um, yeah, that, that show is absolutely amazing. And obviously, there's the Obi-Wan series coming out and there's a, a few more coming out. So 10 spin-off Star Wars series, which will be absolutely huge. And also, um, Marvel, um, th that Marvel has a massive following, and there's going to be 10 spin off series for Marvel as well. So, you can see some great content, great names coming to the platform, um, and so that should really help. And one little thing as well that did come in with this is that um, they are looking to raise the uh, price on Disney Plus by $1, still cheaper than Netflix. And when you think about the content compared to Netflix content, now I know UK content on Netflix is different to uh, Disney Plus content. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to bear that in mind, but in my opinion, the content on Disney Plus and the platform is better than Netflix. And when you also consider that's one dollar cheaper as well, um, amazing. Um, so yeah, I think that's a great thing, and I think that's the key thing with Disney here is that they can slowly now raise this price. And every time they, you know, when you think about they raise it one dollar, that's already an extra like eight million pounds. You know, they raise it another dollar next year, that's another eighty million pounds. Or if they have a hundred million subscribers, an extra hundred million subscribers. So all they need to do now every year is just increase the price on Disney Plus a dollar every year. And just think about the amount of revenue that just is just going to top up every year. It's going to make it really easy to just to keep that revenue and uh, profit growing. And you think about Walt Disney now, you know, it's pretty much turned into a bit of a tech, a tech uh, stock really. When um, you think about what it used to be, and now you're looking at Disney and you're like comparing it to like Netflix, but you're also thinking, as well as that, it owns amazing brands and amazing parks. And you're thinking, you know, Disney was at one point a smaller company than Netflix, which is insane when you think about it, when you think about them brands, the parks, and Disney Plus is probably a better platform in my opinion than Netflix now. I mean, it's crazy to think of the valuation was so cheap. So yeah, I'm surprised it's still is still at a pretty deep, well, decent valuation. You know, it's, it's I wouldn't say it's a, a cheap valuation, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely still a fair valuation when you compare it to something like a Netflix. So overall, you can see why this stock had such a great jump on that investor day. And like I say, credit for coming out and, you know, pretty much blowing investor away with like a, a Great news after great news, it just kept adding up and um, really pushed the stock forward. And like I say, I think it just took investors, the stock just carried on going through the day as investors realized how much positive news really came out from the investor day. And yeah, I mean, great series of shows announced, great uh, forecast uh, put out there as well. Uh, previous great growth as well. And when we look at the subscriber growth, you know, getting to 2024 numbers in 2020 well ahead of schedule as well and uh, definitely a big emphasis on how much they're looking to grow this uh, Disney Plus platform and like I say it's like uh, it's like, like Netflix on steroids really when you look at it and it's still treated pretty much a, a lot cheaper really than a Netflix when you consider the brands they own that they can put out basically the, the, you know Star Wars content for free because well obviously they have to pay to produce it but you know they own that brand whereas the Netflix is still trying to develop their own characters their own programs they're still having to rely on buying other shows for example whereas you know Disney just going like oh we we own Star Wars so let's just put 10 series out there you know oh we own uh, we own Captain America let's put 10 uh, series of uh, Captain America on Disney Plus it's it's very hard for Netflix to compete and I think the numbers that they produced um, and as well as the forecast now is just saying look you know Netflix what are you going to do because great company as well when you think about the diverse revenue it has as well compared to something like the Netflix as well so yeah I mean it was just I mean let's just focus on Disney I mean 
blowout quarter, well, blowout investor day, absolutely amazing. And I, I don't really normally talk about some of these companies because I think at the moment it's all about you know SPAC stocks and you know um, you know how much can a SPAC stock go up in a month kind of thing, and that's kind of what you know driving the growth on or the videos on YouTube right now, but when one of my companies that I own and uh, obviously I'm doing quite well on the position as well comes out with this amazing news I just thought well I'm gonna to have to talk about it because I haven't talked about these guys for nearly a year on the channel so and I think that if I'm ever going to talk about it this news today was when I was going to talk about it because like I say uh, 10 out of 10 invest a day and uh, I'm just going to say a little message to uh, Tattoo Chef I'm hoping with Analyst Day you just watched Disney how to deliver an amazing investor day so um, Tattoo Chef, hope you're picking a few tips up here today. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, absolutely amazing day from uh, Disney. Let me know if any of you guys own Disney shares. I'd be really interested. I uh, don't hear it talked about much, so I'd be, re be really interested to see if there's any uh, fellow Disney uh, shareholders on the channel. That'd be really cool. Um, smash the like button, subscribe if you're around here, and I'll see you in the next video.